Instructional conversations. Building instructional conversations is a key method to teach a science vocabulary. Let them talk in between the lectures about the experience they had with an application related to the topic of discussion. This promotes their dialogue construction in science as they communicate using scientific and technical terms. Make this a classroom strategy to help students to easily learn science vocabulary. Science Text Cards this is an innovative teaching method to convey the science facts in an easy and organized way. In this activity, statements related to science concepts are written on index cards. Students can work individually, pairs, or in groups to sort the cards based on the given format. The formats include true or false, agree or disagree, matching pairs, classification, sequencing, and more. Word games. This is a creative strategy to help elementary students to experience the language of science. Hangman, Pictionary, Dingbats, Bingo, Scrabble, Add One Out, Charades, Trivial Pursuit, etc. are the common games. Playing these games using scientific terms helps the students to work closely with different hard to understand words and use them fluently in their subject. Graphic organizers. This teaching approach is helpful for students to interact with science in a more organized and structured way. Teachers can use different types of templates to represent the data according to the topic that is being handled. A typical format for graphic organizer contains a central point from which different branches are formed and there may be sub-branches in certain cases. Arrows are used to point the direction or sequence of a process. Word Parts This teaching strategy is followed by teachers to educate the basics of science to elementary students. While introducing new scientific terms, they can reinforce the structure of words. Students are asked to identify and understand prefix, suffix, and base word, and to relate their meanings. For example, metamorphosis, meta, large, morph, change, osis, process, photosynthesis, photo, light, synth, make, isis, process. Social media. The different social media platforms can be used wisely to teach science to make the science classrooms more interesting and engaging. For instance, students can be asked to follow scientists in Twitter and share his or her new thoughts and findings in class or to use a fiddly for improving the content of their research projects. Students can also use a Vine to document and to share science videos, Pinterest account for sharing images for research projects or writing prompts or WordPress class account for peer-to-peer -peer learning. Virtual Science Labs There are many virtual science labs available online for free and therefore, this approach almost gives hands-on experience of learning the subject without much expense. Detailed Diagrams Illustrations or close-up pictures allow students to virtually get inside a plant or animal part without actually doing it. Dissections in biology can be studied thoughtfully with a virtual hands-on sensation without the problem of odor and similarly experiment a chemical reaction without burns. Word walls Science word walls in classrooms can stimulate the interest of students in the subject and an opportunity for them to illustrate different concepts. In an advanced technique, a more in-depth understanding of different scientific terms can be made possible with pictures that accompany the words. This is also an option to help them better understand words with multiple meanings. Teachers can design creative word walls or ask students to contribute to the idea weekly or monthly. Thinking Maps 
This is an ideal way to visually represent different thought processes which help to organize the science education with a better flow. There are different types of thinking mobs available which can be chosen wisely to represent the particular topic. This includes bridge maps to teach relation between ideas, brace maps to break larger objects into smaller parts, flow maps to show sequence of events, multi-flow maps to show effects or causes of an event, three maps to classify objects or ideas, and more. Mini Anchor Charts These interesting charts are a great idea to give a detailed overview or explanation of a science topic. Teachers use it to interactively teach areas such as scientific methods, types of energy, plant life cycle, states of matter, mixtures and solutions, force and motion, and more. To make the whole idea interesting, the teacher brings variations such as black and white charts, colored ones, fill-in-the-blank models, and full-page anchor charts for large classrooms. Crossover Learning In this teaching method, students are given opportunity to learn in multiple settings, such as inside the classroom, museums, field trips, or clubs. Teachers can use this method effectively by proposing a question in class, taking students to informal settings to find answers, and then going back to classrooms to discuss and share the findings. This way, learners can record, link, recall, and share their diverse learning events to explore the topic and get a deeper level understanding. Argue with Science Learning through argumentation gives students a widened thinking to constructing ideas which in turn deepen their understanding. They can refine ideas with others and engage with open-ended questions and restate observations or remarks in a more scientific language. Teachers can also guide them in their approach and share the intellectual expertise with them. Context-based learning. In this method, students are given the opportunity to create context and explore ideas from them. They interact with surroundings, hold conversations with subject experts, make relevant notes, and attempt to modify the nearby objects. The context can be understood in detail by exploring the world around. This gradually helps them to interpret new information from the context and relate to what they already know. Computational thinking This is an advanced technique to improve thinking and problem-solving skills. The method comprises decomposition, for example, breaking large problems into small units and pattern recognition related problems to the ones which were already solved successfully in the past. Computational thinking skills also cover algorithms, step-by-step -step approach to reach a solution, abstraction, neglecting unimportant details, and debugging refining these steps. Remote Labs Learning by doing is an unparalleled approach to teach science and this is made a reality with remote labs. Students are given access to authentic scientific tools and opportunities to control remote lab experiments. This would enhance their inquiry skills and conceptual understanding and also the students can learn and explore with motivation. Embodied Learning In this approach, mind and body of the students work together to explore science. The physical feedback as well as the resultant actions will reinforce their learning process. This idea is well supported by today's technology such as visual systems that track movement or wearable sensors to collect physical and biological data. Science Museums Give opportunity to students to visit a science museum as part of the learning process. This gives them access to innovative resources and they can visualize data they learned in class. 
They can have a look at the real work of scientists which improves their urge to learn about it further. Regular visits to museums make learning science more engaging and interesting. Projects this can be an individual activity or group activity which helps students to showcase the application side of what they learned through Turing. This method involves choosing the idea, building a plan, executing the plan, and finally evaluating it. When students pass through these stages, they can improve their skills to express ideas, problem solving, overcoming the challenges, teamwork, and self-assessment. <laughs>